In the last video, I showed you how to use multiple activities and how to use an intent to start an activity. Sometimes, when you start an activity, you may also need to send in additional information. And an intent facilitates this by allowing you to do that using extras. So if you want to send additional information through your intent, you can add an extra to your intent and then fire that intent. We will be building upon the previous example. What this application does currently is when you click on the open sesame button, it opens a new activity and displays a welcome message. And now we are going to make some modification to this example. First, we are going to add an edit text to this activity in which the user will be able to input his name. And after that, when you click on the open sesame button, the name of the user will be passed on to the next activity to display a personalized welcome message. Let me go ahead and drag a new edit text. Let me make this to occupy the entire screen. And we have an edit text. I'm going to name this username. Click OK. Now we have a username, edit text, save this. And let's go to the welcome.xml. Here we have a text view whose ID is welcome message. Now we have to replace this with a personalized welcome message, which will also include the user's name. We're going to go to values and let's go to strings.xml. And here, instead of welcome to Android development, let's go ahead and type dear percentage s. That is the name of the username, user. Welcome to Android development. Save this. This is the personalized message that we'll be using. So now we have our new home activity in which we have a, an edit text where a user can give input his name and we also have the welcome to XML, which will be displaying the user's personalized message. This has not been updated to the new message. So let's go ahead and select this once again. Click OK. Save. Yes. Sometimes the view does not refresh and you may have to do that. Let's go back to our Java code. In the home activity here we need another reference variable for our new edit text which is private edit text username save this and we're going to make an import import we need to get a reference to this ui component username is equal to find view by id r dot id dot username add a cast and now we have our intent on in the on click method we have an intent and this intent will be starting the next activity so before we start an activity we have to add an extra which contains the user's name to do that you're going to get the user's name first string username string is equal to username dot get text dot to string so this will get us the username and we need to put an extra which is into the intent intent dot put extra and name of the extra is username the name of an extra is a string and if you want to retrieve this extra from another activity you have to use the same string and the value is the username string. Now we are going to go to the welcome activity Java and we are going to retrieve this extra from that activity and I'm going to show you how to do that. Go to welcome activity Java and here we're going to get an intent this is the intent which actually started the welcome activity 
and intent dot get string extra and name of the extra which is user underscore underscore name we're going to assign this to a new variable user name string is equal to intent dot get string extra now we have retrieved the username string and it is time to display a personalized message in this activity. To do that, we are going to create a reference variable for the text view. Welcome message. Import. And get a reference to this text view. Oh, I we got welcome message add a cast save this and we will set the property which says welcome message dot set text we're going to get a formatted string using the get string method string of r dot string dot welcome message followed by the format argument which is the username so in the home activity before we start an activity we are getting the username from the username text edit text and we are adding an extra to our intent and in the welcome activity we are getting the intent which started this welcome activity and we are get retrieving the string extra with the name which you can see here and we are setting a personalized message in the welcome message text view using the set text method that is it let's go ahead and run this application Let's unlock the device. Our application is ready. Let's go ahead and type Jerry and click on Open Sesame. And here you see it says, Dear Jerry, welcome to Android Development. And as a side note, you can pass any data type as an extra, not just strings. You can pass integers, floating values, and if you also want to pass collections, you can do that. You can pass string arrays, integer arrays. And if you have a Java Bean class, which implements either the parcelable interface or the serializable interface, you will also be able to send that using the put extra method. This video demonstrated how to pass and retrieve additional data using extras. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.